Hey everyone, this is Lewis, and uh, I wanted to show you how to optimize and manage your resource file usage and disk usage, disk usage limits. Um, so let's just go ahead and dive in. The first thing is to note is that this is cPanel and this is for GoDaddy shared hosting. I do believe it'll work with every cPanel, but it's going to be uh, centered around shared hosting. So it's going to be directed towards those peeps. Uh, but I do think it will help all cPanel. It should be relatively the same. So um, the first thing that you do is uh, you check and make sure that you're doing the you have the right PHP version. Um, so select PHP version. I'm on 7.4. That is uh, relatively current. 8.0 is what I'm going to be on. Um, I just uh, when I when I click that on. For one of my sides, I still have to fix it. And so I, di I did fix it. I just have to like turn it to 8.0, which I will uh, in a little bit. But I've actually just been working on this hosting panel as a testing panel since it's a bit, it's a little bit slightly older of a hosting panel. So if uh, if it's not up to date or relatively up to date, make sure to check that. Um, the the second thing that I the reason I'm even saying this is because I had insane resource uh, file resource and a lot of memory usage and I I couldn't find anything that would a, would actually explain it so you know this is this is really truly the best way because I I watched the numbers go down you can go the 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 master place that you'll probably need that you will need to go uh, is disk usage now but the one last thing before I go into this main thing which is going to help uh, is you you do need to check uh, to make sure that your site is fully scanned. So uh, to make sure that you're not like hemorrhaging or if you're not you don't have any malware on your site or nothing's wrong with your site. Uh, my recommendation is to use WordPress, scan it, make sure there's nothing here. See, there's an issue uh, needs to upgrade. But you you know make sure to use that and check to see if there's anything because a lot of times that can actually cause a big issue and will sometimes be you know if, if you have a hosting long enough you know you'll probably get some type of malware at some point so that's probably that's what it could be if it's like really high physical memory uses or processes something like that um, the next thing is to go into disk usage this is awesome. This is a mother load. This is where you find everything. That's what you want to find is, uh, is you want to look through these, uh, the application backups, which can amount to a lot. Public HTML, obviously, that's using a ton of the disk usage. But that's just the amount that's, that's the most that's being used. Um, so public HTML, email accounts, and the uh, application backup so there's two places like if I hit hit the application backup those are the current backups uh, on my account uh, there you can you can delete it here in the file manager or uh, you can also delete it in uh, the inst installatron which uh, most people use in GoDaddy click view more And then, and then where, where you go to here is you go and look at my backups and you'll see all the backups that you have. Now I had like 40 when I went in here because a lot of them are automatic and uh, they just kind of go on. So you just want to click the ones that you don't want and then you click, 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 click delete, click yes, and it should be good. I've already done mine, so mine's pretty clean and that will lighten the load quite a bit in the application backups um, and then PP the the public HTML of course where you do need to be cognizant of is deleting any like any sites that you no longer use or any folders or data that uh, that you don't that you no longer use under your file manager um, those are the two biggest places along with checking the email space so if you go if you click here click into email accounts because uh, sometimes you may have purchased a uh, an email account so let me just click here if we click that it's gonna go into this I'm gonna go into manage 
And then we are going to go into free up email storage. Then you click manage and you can delete all of those permanently. Now, you, most of you will probably have like GoDit or, or like a Google or something or, or, you know, Office 365. But sometimes, you know, uh, depending on the hosting plan that you purchased or at one point, you may have gotten free email and you didn't know that it was already activated. That's what happened with me. And it had gotten so big. It was crazy. I didn't even know. So that's that's basically it look at this thing and you know control it because it's like obviously the only thing that's taking up that much space is just my sites which is good which is all that is all supposed that is all that is supposed to be taking the amount of space okay so check the php version make sure your website is optimized and not hacked uh, check your disk usage right here uh, check application backups check the uh, installatron backups Check cPanel email usage, uh, and then you should be you should be clean. You should look good. I mean, those are all the major major things that would really ever get in your way of having a green, clean, smooth cPanel running machine. Okay, so uh, please uh, subscribe and give me a uh, question if uh, for your own use case. Thank you so much.